Hey ladies, it's Lorna. I um, hope everybody had a happy and safe new year. Um, I, I did, didn't really do much. We had some friends come over and played on the new Wii that we got. We finally got a Wii. <laughs> We're a little behind the times when it comes to electronics. Um, John always waits until the price goes down, which is really quite sensible. We ended up getting the Wii for a lot cheaper than when they first came out with a couple games and an extra controller and, and all that good stuff. So we had fun with that. But um, I just wanted to share a couple things with you. I went to Joann's the other day to use up a gift card. And I didn't really get a whole lot, but got a couple things I needed. Um, you know, they have these little tubs of the beads. And every time I'd been up there, they'd never had the silver. And they had a silver, so I got a silver. And I got another white one. Always use white. So... I got a couple of those, and surprisingly, they still had the last pack of these flowers that I didn't get last week when I bought them, and it was still there. So they were normally like $7.99, they were down to $1.97, so I went ahead and snatched that one too. And then another thing, I've never used this stuff, but, um, and I don't know if you guys have or not, but I've been, I've been wanting this for a while. I, if you guys have used this, this is the Alamode. Um, embossing powder all the embossing powder that I have is stuff that was my mom's and some of it I don't even think it's really actually embossing powder it says it is I don't know where she got it from it's like no name stuff she must have ordered off the internet there's like a tag on it but the 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 web address isn't valid anymore and so I've decided I kind of need to buy some newer embossing powder and this was uh I don't know $24.99 $25.99 something like that and it was 30% off or 40% off. I don't even remember. It was, I, think, I think I got it for $17.99. But if you guys have used this, um, great. I'm going to try it here in a little while and see. But I like it because not only is it pastel, but one of them's just a plain embossing powder and then the other one has glitter in it. So I'm going to try them out and see how they work. Really couldn't find anything else there I wanted that day because they really weren't having a very good sale on any of their scrapbooking stuff. Excuse me, I, mean, I need a drink. It is so dry. So, so dry in my house right now. I can't stand it. But the other thing I wanted to show you is um, I haven't given the girls their boxes yet. I haven't seen them yet. I showed you these like last week that I made for my friend's daughter and for my friend. The, the one that had the baby. So I still have the boxes here. And I kind of got bored the other day. was watching some videos. And I was watching one from... Robin at Enjoy Stamping, or Enjoy Stampin', and um, she was making these teeny, teeny, tiny little minis that she learned how to make from Laura on Following the Paper Trail. So I watched her video to see how she did it, and I just thought they were adorable. So I decided to make a couple of those to put in the girls' boxes. I thought they needed a little something in them. So here's the purple one to match the purple box. I mean, it doesn't match perfectly, but... It's cute. And these are just made out of um, one piece of 6 by 12 paper. And if you haven't seen the video and you haven't made any of these yet, they're really fun. They're really easy. They're really cute. So, you know, here's the front. I just put some of my flowers from um, Joann's and just put some stickles and some bling and some little satin roses this lace actually has some sparkle to it. I'm going to have to get some more of this because I'm completely out now. I used it on all three of them. And then these are some some of my I Am Roses leaves that I had painted white. And I'm telling you what, these things have probably six coats of white paint on them, and they still have green coming through them. So I just slathered a little bit of stickles on, on the leaves too. But then when you open it up, it's, it's stuck. Why is it? No, it's not. I'm sorry. Um... Each one of these is just part of the page, and instead of gluing the inside, because they're so small, these mini albums are only three by two. So she said instead of gluing the inside and taking up space for the tag, if you just put something decorative on the outside, then it gives you the room to put your tag in. And you can see I used my Martha Stewart scallop punch, and I used it on the tags too. They didn't come out quite as great as I would have liked, but they look cute. And... I didn't put anything else on them because, you know, these are so teeny tiny, you really don't want to take up space for pictures. So, 
that's pretty much it. And then the, this one, you put it on the top, then the bottom, and you just alternate them. Okay, if you watch the video and see how they're made, you'll see why they alternate like that. So, I didn't, you know, no bling, no anything on the inside, just, just that, just to make it real simple for some pictures. And, you know, of course, I used chipboard on the front. So that's the purple one for Karen. And then I made two of these exactly alike to match the two boxes for the girls in green. Basically the same thing, except these are my little, um, these are I Am Roses ones. The other ones were, were satin. I had them that matched, so I used them. So just I Am Roses on here, the same lace, same flowers, stickles, leaves, everything's the same. It's just the color's different. But anyway, I just thought, I think they're really cute. They're really quick to make. And, you know, Laura, she comes up with some really, really great ideas. She must spend hours and hours measuring things and wasting a lot of paper to get her ideas. And of course, nothing on the back because um, I didn't want it to get damaged. And I am in the process of making little boxes to put inside the bigger boxes to put these in. Um, here's, here's the green one for one of them. I've, I've got the bases made. And they fit in there real nice. I've tried a couple different things with the top, and I actually think I'm just going to cut out some acetate tops that just slide over so that you can still see it. So that's the green one. And I'm not going to put any bling or anything on them because I figured that way, you know, maybe they could carry them in their purse. They're a little bit snug with the lace, but... And then this is the... Well, it's the back of it, but... This is the purple one with the little polka dots that I made. For that one so I, anyway I'll, I don't know I'll see what they look like when I get the little acetate tops on them or I may just make another box just like this you know make it a little bit bigger so it just slips over the top I don't know I just wanted something where they wouldn't get damaged so they could carry them around so anyway those are my teeny weeny minis and my teeny weeny Joann's haul <laughs> so I'm gonna um, be working on a couple of calendar pages today. I'm in a calendar page swap with a bunch of gals on Cynthia Lou Who's website, A Little Scrap of Heaven. And I got March and April. And so I think that's gonna be really cute. I got a I got a good idea with, you know, using a lion and a lamb for March. For, you know, in like a lion out like a lamb or vice versa. And then of course for April, April showers bring my flowers. So I've got a good idea with using some umbrellas and stuff. And I actually have this really, really, all I'm going to show you is the, is the one page. Because if the girls are in the swap and don't want to see it, then, you know, don't watch this part. But here's the page that I'm going to use for the April one. And it's just perfect. Umbrellas and a rain cloud and flowers and a rainbow and, you know, April showers bring May, May flowers. I think that's going to be really, really cute. So that's going to be my project for today is trying to finish that up. And when I do get them done... I'll, I probably won't show them until after we do the swap. I don't know. I haven't even shown my Christmas page yet for my Christmas swap because poor Lydia had, she got sick and a couple of the other gals got sick and that swap's not even done yet. We were hoping to have that done and have the, the books back to each other or the pages back to each other before Christmas. And everybody's just been so sick with the flu and, and everything. And, it, it just hasn't gotten done, and, you know, what can you do? It's it's the holidays, it's sick time, and things just don't work out as they plan sometimes, so. But anyway, um, I'm going to get to it, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.